Hi Gemini, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 1st to the 10th, 2019 reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out, and you help this small channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. So I thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old, to this channel for your support, and you guys are absolutely wonderful and absolutely amazing. It's so humbling to see you guys here, so thank you so much. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see, Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what March 1st through the 10th, 2019 has in store for you. Gemini, March 1st through the 10th, 2019. 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 Gemini. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. March 1st through the 10th. Okay, fantastic. So those are the cards that fell. So those are the cards that Spirit wants you to see. The Four of Pentacles. This is prosperity. This is also guarding your chakras, your solar plexus, keeping yourself grounded, protecting your home, protecting yourself. Definitely that's important here. Okay, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is also a transformation of passion, right? Within the home, within the self, you're going through a transformation. Gemini, you're really understanding where it is that you want to be. And things are becoming more and more clear to you in the month of March, right? Very much so. And from the 1st to the 10th, you have a repeat of the number four, okay? The home, the self. Remember, your body is a temple, so the home for your soul is your body. Making sure that you rest, making sure that you take care of yourself, clearing away negative energy, harshness, anger, hurt, despair, letting that seep into the ground and moving away from it. There is a sense here of blessings coming your way, but you need to heal. You need to relax. You need to take care of yourself. Emotions are going to be running high at points, and you're not going to see the blessings that are coming all at once. So really stepping back, really paying attention to your soul and yourself is going to be highly important mm -hmm. because of the Nine of Swords right here. The Nine of Swords is doubt and fear and not sleeping well and not seeing yourself as being successful. You go through stages, Gemini. You, you sit there and you're embracing this this king of wands energy like i am successful i'm going for it and then it's just breaks on oh my gosh i'm i'm not successful i'm not going to be able to do it i can't believe that this is happening kind of mentality that's going on here but then you get a gift just for you you are represented by the swords in the minor arcana you are the you are getting a gift from the ace of swords right now from god's source spirit moving you forward okay it's going to know your mind and this is saying solitude is going to be very important to you yes okay you're getting a gift of passion you're taking it you are absolutely taking it. You have the Two of Cups, oh, the Minor Arcana Lover's card, and the Three of Pentacles, focusing on the details. Now, okay, so this reading is a bit intense, and that's okay, because sometimes intense things come up, and it's not all light and as airy as we would like it to be. But what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a focusing on self that you don't normally do, Gemini, all right? And it is really saying, what is it that I love? It's also having love come into your life. It could be with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. It can be somebody with that passionate energy around them that's helping you move forward. For some of you, you've given up on love. You just have. You're like, okay, it's not for me. Um, I'm moving on. Thank you very much. And for others of you, it's not It's not that calm a way of kind of giving up on love. It's just, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to find it, you know, and being upset about it. This is telling you that you are going to find love, that things are going to move forward and things are going to be beautiful and healing. You are embracing what it is that you desire, you're embracing what it is that you love, and you're letting nothing stand in your way. So by doing so, you are having, you're having doors open for you that you hadn't seen before, okay? That's it, blessings are coming your way that you hadn't seen before. That's why there's a sense of home and self, but doors are going to be opening. It's almost as if this is a gateway for you. And I know you're walking away from the gateway, but the divine is saying that as you're moving forward, Gemini, as you are embracing what it is that you want, and you feel as if you're on this journey all by yourself, you're not, first of all. There are people who absolutely love and support you. And if you say, you know what, there aren't, then the angels are right there with you. Worries and fears, 
turn into success and bounty. Your clarifying cards show you moving forward in the beauty, in the bounty, and in the prosperity that you want. You're getting handed the gift of new beginnings, of abundance. You're taking it and you're transforming yourself because of it. Because you're tired of this worry, this doubt, and this fear. You're tired of it. Okay, your first card here is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is moving forward in prosperity. The Four of Pentacles is guarding your solar plexus, you know, guarding your chakras, knowing what it is that you want. And even if you might say, Dane, I don't know what it is that I want. You know what it is that you don't want. And you're guarding yourself against that. You're guarding yourself against others' negativity. You're guarding yourself against anger, despair, you know, all, all those things that you don't want in your life. You're having your feet firmly planted on the ground. You're looking at what it is that you truly desire. And you're saying, this is my time. And it's your time because for so long you have been doubting and you have been questioning your path, where it is that you're going, what it is that you're doing. And you think, how am I supposed to have prosperity? And you're holding on to that prosperity too. Almost as if you think, okay, it's not going to come anymore. Let go of that mentality. Okay? And that's a hard one for everybody. It's not just you, Gemini. All right? It's a hard one for everybody to say, I deserve success. I deserve prosperity. And money comes in. Especially when you don't see money coming in the way that you wanted it to. Or it's going out as quickly as it's coming in. But when it goes out as quickly as it's coming in, isn't that what it's there for? Yes, it would be nice to have savings. But as you accept that your money is doing its job, okay, your money is able to take care of things, move forward in the prosperity that you want, all right, you will find that the money comes in more readily, more easily. It's changing your mindset. It's grounding yourself. It's securing yourself. It's embracing your prosperity. It's knowing what it is that you desire and letting nothing stand in your way. You are looking at your truth. You are looking at your heart right here within your stomach. There, there's worry and fear, and that's where it's settling right now. It could also be settling in your head, right? Causing headaches, causing stomach pains. Some of you might even find, and I know that sounds funny, but that your feet hurt. You are having some discomfort with your feet, and that's because there's a fear here of moving forward because you're tired of doubts and you're tired of fears. You're just like, no go. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. You're staying up at night, you're not resting, you're thinking about everything. Or for some of you, it could be that you are thinking about the life that you want. And you're thinking, how am I here and not there? I believe it with every ounce of my soul, every part of my being. Start working towards it. Start working harder towards it. Okay? Because you can change your destiny. You can control the way things come to you. It takes a heck of a lot of work. It takes a heck of a lot of time. But it, you know you're close when despair starts coming in and when despair starts trying to take away your joy, your prosperity, and your abundance. And I know that sounds funny and counterproductive, but that is when you become closer to what it is that you want or you give up entirely, but you're not giving up. See how you're holding on to it? See how you're holding on to your prosperity? See how you're holding on to your dreams? Keep holding on to your dreams because you are moving forward. Now you have this fire sign energy, this Aries, this Leo, the Sagittarius that comes and correlates right there. They're right next to each other in the horizontal. So this is saying that as you're holding on to your prosperity, as you're protecting your home, yourself, your temple, your body, you're embracing your prosperity. You're embracing the way that you want to move forward on this earthly plane, your passion, your creativity. And your passion and your creativity becomes your prosperity. You're becoming a king. You have a king's energy here in this reading. There's a transformation of soul and self that's happening. There's a way that you are moving forward. There's a fire in your belly that you are embracing and nothing is going to hold you back. Nothing is going to stop you as you're looking at things, as you're moving forward. Now this passion, this prosperity, this abundance that is coming your way, it can be around a fireside, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, Somebody who is passionate. Now, it doesn't have to be that they are a fire sign, but it can be somebody who is passionate, who is determined, who is leading you forward. Now, this person can be leading you forward, okay, by lighting a fire under your tush and saying, you know what? You doubt yourself. You don't think that you can do it. Well, look, I'm doing it. Why can't you? 
And that's that fire under your, under your chest that you need in order to move from doubt and despair to being a king of your prosperity, to being a king of your, your passion and your creativity. Because for me, the pentacles are the here, the pentacles and the wands are the here and the now. They're the earthly plane. The swords and the cups, they're the spiritual plane. This is your heart. This is your mind. Your mind right now isn't in alignment with what it is that your soul wants, what it is that you want here on this earthly plane. And now you're getting it into alignment because you're getting this gift of knowing your mind and knowing yourself. This transformation is coming. And you are saying, okay, I get it. And you're getting a gift from God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, that is moving you forward, cutting through doubts and fears, crowning you with success, with prosperity. And this is a gift just for you because you are a air sign. You're represented by the swords in the minor arcana. And they are saying, the divine is saying to you, here's your gift, take it. Now, I don't have you taking it in this reading. So what I have is... It being given to you, and then you fearing it. Now, is everything written in stone? Does this mean that your gift isn't taken? No, not at all. You have a gift of new beginnings. You're taking that. Of passion, you're taking that. That doesn't scare you. Believing in yourself right now, from the 1st to the 10th, that's a bit overwhelming. But you're being handed this gift. And you're thinking, can I take it? Do I know my, not, my mind? Can I do this? Or are you always going to question yourself? Take it. Stop questioning. Stop questioning. You're going to drive yourself up and down the wall. You're going to make things so much harder for you. They don't have to be. They don't have to be. Take this gift. Take this gift of knowing your mind, of knowing that you're on the right path, of knowing where you're going. Because you do. Even if you're saying, you know, Dean, I don't. It's just one big mess after another. No, it's time for you to take care of your temple, to take care of yourself, your body, your essence, your soul. Protect it and see that blessings are coming your way. You're not going to see them all the time, right? That's why it's up here. The blessing is coming, but you're not seeing it. The blessings will come. They will lead you forward. They will be what it is that you desire, okay? And you're going to open your eyes after emotions have run high, and you're going to see these, and you're going to be like, oh, wow, that's really great. You're not going to see the one that matters the most. And that's going to come after a moment, after a time of when you calm down, and you really start centering yourself and believing in yourself. And I know you might say, you know, Dane, I do believe in myself. I absolutely do. I know that I deserve success. The fact that I have doubt and fear here that I just keep on being drawn to time and time again is what's holding you back. Because you believe in this success. You do. You hold that sword in your hand. You know your mind. You know your passion. You know what it is that you want. But you need to heal in order to get it. There's something that you are overcoming. You're walking away from it. You're walking away from pains. You're walking away from sorrows. You're walking away from despair. And the divine has your back. Now, for some of you, blessings are going to come in a way you haven't expected them. Now, this could be a trip that you're taking that you really don't want to take. And you're thinking, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this. I want to stay home. I want to be, you know, safe and secure within my life and my, my pattern right now. Take that trip. It's going to turn out better than you thought it would. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, a trip where you go on on a, a plane or anything like that. It can be one where you go just a little bit away, but it's taking you out of the places that you're used to. It's okay. You're really moving forward in the prosperity that you want. And I know that sounds hard to believe, but you are. This is saying here that passion, new beginnings, prosperity, and change is yours. Because you're being handed this gift and you're taking it. You are absolutely taking it. Now, for some of you, as you're taking this gift here, you're falling in love with somebody who is offering you new beginnings, new prosperities. And it doesn't have to be falling in love. I say falling in love. But it can also be that you are embracing this new beginning that's happening and embracing what it is that you love. It could be within work. It could be within, you know, your social life. It doesn't have to be a physical romantic love. It can be whatever it is that you love is coming to you and it's offering you new beginnings. You're taking it. You do have this strong fire sign king energy to your reading. Fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now that can be somewhere in your chart. That can also be just the energy that is around you. You want things to change. You have this fire in your belly and you have this doubt 
in your mind. So you have this war between yourself. And you're a Gemini. You're used to a war between yourself. You know, you're, you're used to having, you know, two sides of a coin and seeing things differently and using the elasticity of your mind to be able to move forward and embrace what it is that you want. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, people sit there and say, oh, Geminis are flighty. They're this, they're that. I may be a little biased. I'm a Gemini myself. You're not flighty. You just know when things don't work. And sometimes you are flighty because you're like, well, that doesn't feel right. And so you move on to the next thing until you find where it is that you belong. Now you're embracing your passion. You are having your, your rebirth because the salamander in alchemy represents transformation. So you are having your transformation of self. So you're embracing what it is that you want. You're taking it and you're saying, okay, this is where I want to be. And you're starting a new beginning. A new beginning for the 1st to the 10th of March is absolutely beautiful. A new beginning for embracing a new time in your life. A new season, a new start. I don't know if March brings in a new season, but that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing here kind of like, you know, a darkness going away from you and embracing a beauty. There's healing, beautiful love here. Healing, beautiful love that is moving you forward. And if you're saying, you know, Dane, I don't have anybody that I love. There's not going to be anybody who comes into my life that I love. This is self-love. Remember, self-love is hugely important, especially when you're going after what it is that you desire and paying attention to the details, guarding your prosperity, moving forward in wisdom, having pain leave, but always remembering what you went through and then having the wheat, the harvest come around you. This is having a place of warmth, security, love, that blanket be with you. Always, always being able to take it. Now, in the Rider Waite Smith deck, the Three of Pentacles is represented by three men building a cathedral. Here it is one woman creating a blanket. A cathedral is supposed to be a place where you connect with God, a, con a connection with a higher spirit, a wonder, a beauty. That's what you're getting from this blanket. That's what you're going to be able to get to move with you throughout your life, to carry with you and not have to go to a special spot, a special place. There's a sense of warmth and security coming over you. This is also saying pay attention to the details as you move forward, as you embrace what it is that you want, as you embrace where it is that you're heading. Give me just a moment here. You're not seeing the blessings that are coming your way because of doubts and of fears. Because you feel right now out in the cold, but you're actually embracing your prosperity, embracing your home, embracing yourself. Taking care of you is highly important, Gemini. You're forgetting that. Don't forget it. Take care of yourself. Know that you're not out in the cold. Know that the changes that are coming are not as terrifying as you think they are. Okay, your mind is making things a lot bigger than you think they are going to be. I have meditation videos that I'm going to link down below that for sleep, for um, releasing negativity, that'll be very good for you. You're embracing your passion and you're getting a gift of knowing your mind. Take it, absolutely take it. So blessings are coming your way. You need to calm yourself. There is something that is causing you anxiety right here that is causing you to just feel overwhelmed. Calm and center yourself. When you open your eyes, after you've calmed and centered yourself, you're going to see blessings coming your way. Blessings are going to come from unexpected places. There's worry, there's fear, there's doubt. But what's very interesting is that unless people know you really, really, really well, Gemini, they're not going to see this worry, this fear, and this doubt. They're going to see you being this person on horseback, in finery, moving forward. And this person here, represents the six of wands, success, beauty. But there's doubt, there's fear. There's a sense of being overwhelmed. Do not let that doubt and fear take away your 10 days because it very well can. Make sure that you're sleeping, make sure that you're resting, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. There's a sense of worry, but it's over changes that are coming. Now, whether this is conscious or subconscious, that you know these changes are coming. This is saying here that you are going to be moving forward in a way that divinity is blessing you. And at times you don't feel like there's anybody to rely on, there's anybody who understands. There are. And if there isn't, if you're saying, no, Dane, there really isn't, then it's your angels right there, right there with you. 
helping you, guiding you. There's a sense here of guarding yourself. For some, it's holding on to prosperity. It's wanting to hold on and being afraid that everything's going to slip through your fingers. This is saying here to let go. It's okay. You're going to be okay. The more you think about about money, the more it's it's going to be harder to come. Okay? You know, the faster it's going to go. So and this is saying here to center yourself, to ground yourself, to protect your solar plexus, to pro protect your chakras, and know that you are moving forward. For some of you, there's going to be aches and pains. Okay, headaches, stomach aches, your feet might be hurting you because there, I'm seeing here a blockage to moving towards the prosperity that you have. It's almost as if there is a change that's coming that is going to tear you away from old doubts, old fears, old patterns into something new and something beautiful. And as that is coming, it's almost as if here you're being held back and you're pulling forward. And so it's like a tug of war. And part of the world wants you to stay in this, in this darker place, okay, in this place of shadows, and not move forward to this place of the sun. Because they're, they're saying you can do, you can do more, more on earth if you're in a negative place for negative purposes than you could do for positive purposes. And I know that sounds funny. But have you ever noticed that it, you can have a million nice people come to you and talk to you and be with you and then you have one just absolutely horrible person come into your day and that's the only person that you can remember? I'm not saying that you're a horrible person, but I'm saying we tend to, as human beings, remember the negative over the positive. But you're changing that. You're changing negativity into positivity. You're changing doubts into beauty. And you're moving forward because of that. Now there's a fire sign energy around you in Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Some of you are falling in love. Others of you, this person is going to help you. This person is a person of authority. This person knows what they're doing. This is a person who, who can help with passions and ideas. Put them into order. So it could be somebody who helps with legal matters. It could be somebody who who looks at like kind of like an editor kind of thing, something to that effect, who looks at things and helps you move forward. This is passion. This is beauty. This is prosperity. But this is also you transforming from doubt to beauty, transforming to feeling as if you're walking out in the cold, to saying, I'm sitting, knowing that I'm moving forward in the direction that I want, that I'm transforming my life because you're taking this knowledge that is just for you, Gemini. You're embracing it and you're letting nothing stand in your way. You've already taken the passion. New beginnings are coming. And you can feel it in the beginning of March. You'll be able to feel it, okay? There's healing, beautiful love that is coming your way. Passion, new beginnings, prosperity. New, be new beginnings of love, of healing. The angels are blessing you. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to the path that you want to walk. And stay true to yourself. Do not listen to other people. This is a lot of soul searching. This is a lot of gaining understanding. And this is a lot of moving forward from doubts and fears. Because these doubts and these fears, they don't have any place in your life anymore. Yes, you'll have them. You know, it's part of being human. But now you're moving forward. Now you've rested and you're going to take in your blessings. You've calmed your emotions. The turbulence that has been happening calms down. Things happen in a count of four. All right? So the fourth day is going to be very important to you of these ten days. But also, you're going to see a pattern of things happening in four. A four being a significant number to you. Family, what you're creating, your home, your body, your temple of self. That's what you're going to be paying attention to. New beginnings, love, and knowing your mind is coming to you. Leading you forward, helping you embrace what it is that you want. Your subconscious message, the king of pentacles. This is an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. So this could be somewhere in your chart. This can also be a person who is coming into your life. But this is saying subconsciously that you are planting your feet on the ground. You are knowing that you are worthy of prosperity. There's going from feeling kind of like as if you have to protect it, as if you're walking away from it, to absolutely embracing your prosperity and knowing that you have this beautiful king energy to you during the first 10 days of March. And as you embrace this beautiful king energy. You're saying, I deserve this. I will fight to keep it. 
I know where I stand and I know what I want on this earthly plane. Because for me, pentacles and wands, they represent the earthly plane. So you're representing, you are embracing your financial prosperity, your right to be financially prosperous, your right to have what you value as much as money on this earthly plane, and your passion, your creativity, your right to move forward, okay? And to create the beauty and the abundance that you want within this world. And nothing is going to hold you back. This is your time. This is the here and the now. And this is saying doubts, fears, that they're fine, but they have no place keeping you from your dreams. All right, Gemini, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I know it was a little intense. Thank you guys so much for giving it a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.